Hey girl. Hey Chad. <laughs> I'm Brock. I'm Rippy. And this is Conversipping. Conversipping. How y'all doing out there? Hello. I can't hear you, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so the other day I was hanging out with some friends and um, they asked me what defines a date. Oh. And I thought that would be a good topic for us today to talk about. So yeah. what do you define as a date? If I call it a date. Well, it's been that. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a date, I'll say we're going on a date, and then it's a date. Well, you've never been in a situation, well, okay, I've been in this situation, but have you ever been in a situation where you talk to someone, and you say, let's go grab food or dinner or whatever, but they never define it as a romantic thing, it's just more like a let's go get food, but then at the end you feel like it may have been a date, but then it wasn't a date because then they told you they weren't looking for a date, and I'm like, oh my god. See, I get confused when it comes to any of that. And I also have issues like determining if people are flirting with me or not, I never know. No, 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 you know no, more no. than I do. No, You're no, like, no. you know he likes you, and I'm like, well, if we're, if we're on an, like we were just like talking, or, yeah, I've met people when we have went and grabbed drinks, but until I call it a date, it's not a date. Um, and it's just a note. And we had a nice Well, what if that person pays for it? And then he pays for it. Great. And I guess that's a good thing. And then I don't have to pay for it. That's all <laughs> I love that. Pay, pay, <laughs> pick up the check, boo. You, know, you won't get no fight from me. But and the date, like, a date, I would call it a date. Like, when I set it up, like, I, we need to have a date night. Yeah. We're going on a date. And then... So on and so forth. But I also don't feel like anyone's obligated to pay. Um, I mean, like, that's a different, that's a different conversation. But yeah. I classify it as a date in the beginning and so that both parties are aware that this is a date. See, I wish I'd run into people more like you because these people ask me, well, I say these people, maybe one person in the past, like, two months, um, <laughs> has asked me out to go to get food and then they oh, paid for it. <laughs> and then I was, um... I was confused if it was a date, if it wasn't a date, so that's why I was asking, <clears throat> because I always get to the issue where I'm like, I don't know if it was or not. And then, if I think it's a date, and then I like this person, and then I try to talk to them again, and we don't hang out again, then I'm like, what was the point? <laughs> uh, I don't know. So, for, some, for someone like you, I would say that... You would probably need to have that conversation during the date. Like, is this a date? And along with, how are you feeling about me? Or, I feel like that's a, a, a reasonable question to ask. And, and you don't have to feel, like, awkward asking it. A lot of people are very awkward about asking, like, how do you feel about me? What are we What are we doing? Where is this at? No, I like to know. Like, what are we doing? What? what so we just doing dinner. You gonna come over later? Am I coming over to yours later? <laughs> later? Are we just gonna like watch a movie? Like what are we doing? Um, and I think that's just. I mean, coming off. I mean, it's just. I feel like it's just a very adult thing to do. It's just say like, you know, what is, what is this? This is how I'm feeling. And I think like we don't have those conversations enough. Like I'm feeling this way, um, and what do you think about that? A lot of times people get very sensitive when we start talking about feelings. You know. I go, oh yeah. Well, I tell oh, people yeah. my feelings. This is very good. All I'm going to get this. <laughs> but you know, like, this is how. But, like, people that you're not close to say, this is how I'm feeling. Yeah. Like, I really like you. I mean, a I lot have, of people have I mean, saying that. I've told guys that before on a date. Like, hey, I feel like this is going well. And then uh, they said the same thing, and then they ghost. So, but that could be another day, another topic. Ghost. Yeah, ghosting. Casper. Yeah, but yeah, I think it's very... Well, to me, I, I define it early, and and it is what it is. Also, dates have no additional meaning. I just... That's just what I call it. Well, yeah. I, mean, I essentially call it that, that to relationship. say that and this is the moment I'm dedicating to this person, and I won't be distracted by other things. Though, you know, I can't help if wherever <laughs> we go... I'm recognized on public. Oh, um, that actually that happened on my day I had the other day. Actually, yeah. <laughs> that hurts me more than anything. Like, I feel, I, I don't know. Like, I just know a lot of people, and so where I might get recognized, and then they feel some kind of way, and I'm, I don't know why they feel some kind of way. I mean, I just be like, hey, 
How you doing? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good to see you. And then that's it. This ends that. It's very quick. Yeah. So what we're saying is to find it before you go out somewhere to see if it's a date or not. Yeah. Be honest with each other. Yeah. Both sides. I mean, like, dates mean a lot to you. Then yeah, like, to find it early. And don't feel bad about asking, like, like, is this a date? Mm -hmm. Are we on a date? And then, are you going back? <laughs> I'm not going to ask that, but if no. it happens, it happens. That's just a win-win. I will. In fact, I did the last one. I said, who buy my shot? I said, you know what, Brian? You're going to buy my money. Come over here and buy this shot. And then, um, uh, so one of my, our mutual friends was like, oh, yeah, buy me a shot. She was like, I was, she said, I'm joking. And I said, oh, I'm not. <laughs> You got that tax refund? I'll come here. I know I'm just letting you know. Who's buying my drink? Alright. Mm, so that's dating. <laughs> dating. Do it. Have fun. Define it early. Be safe, guys. Girl, guess what time it is? Oh, I know. Wait, hold on. And then, fan question! <laughs> yes! Fan question! Do you want to read it or do you want me to read it? Oh, I'll read it. Alright. What do you think about while sitting on the toilet? Okay. Well, first of all, I'd like to start with, I take beta fiber. So I'm very regular. So I go on a regular basis every day. So I'm sitting on that toilet maybe twice a day. So I got things to think about. That's it. Twice a day. Oh, I take like three or four. That's very healthy. It's like, so people, I, it's fun fact. I do know this. If you only use the restroom number two once a day, you are considered constipated. So if you're only using the restroom once a day, you might need to get some fiber more in your life. Uh, et cetera, et cetera. Green leaves. <laughs> like the spinach one. Mm -hmm. All those are good. But I still take the benefit fiber for extra, extra fiber. So what do I think about? So when I'm on the toilet, I, if I don't have a game I'm playing on my phone, <laughs> <laughs> if I don't have a game that I'm interested in right now, I'll I'll look up ads, stories, not ads. Ads. I'll look actually, up ads. actually ads. <laughs> that are useful. <laughs> uh, articles. I look up articles, <laughs> and I just get intrigued in some of these, and then I figure I'm on the toilet. But um, but if I'm not doing that, I you know I'm in group text like all the time, so there's always something going on. So I'll respond if I haven't seen it or keep up, I'll catch up on that or what have you. But I recently found out though that a friend of mine told me from his doctor, um, you know, it's not good to get distracted while you're on the toilet. Because you don't, it's because you sit there long enough and your body's open, if you want to say it that way, and you have a risk of getting hemorrhoids the longer you sit on the toilet. Nah, I bumped that noise. No, no, no. I don't know about that. I don't know about all of that. Bump that noise. But I tell you what, though, I always have at least one. What's so all like? I go like three or four times a day. Half of that's at work. Um, and I feel like personally, everyone should get paid to do number two. <laughs> okay. Just as a human being, it is our right. It is our <laughs> obligation to be paid to pass bile <laughs> into the plumbing system, okay? And so, please go to the bathroom on the clock at your job every day, okay? You, it, you deserve that, okay? <laughs> you deserve that. But, um, so I was at home, though. There's like an hour to an hour. Like, that's my decompression list. So I was like, YouTube, always. Hi, it's when I catch up on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. So all your social media. All of my social media is done in that moment. And then I also have a few games that I play on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Or I might play solitaire. I mm -hmm. love solitaire. See, I like Pyramid. Oh, I had that game. But then I got this, to this level that I couldn't beat and I got frustrated and I just uninstalled it. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> but yeah, so you catch up on social media and I look up articles. <laughs> I, how long are you on the toilet? I feel like that's an interesting thing. Some people are longer than others. Like, I feel like I'm pretty long. I'm a short one. People ask me if I'm okay. I'm like on there maybe less than 15 minutes. And I'm like, mind your business. <laughs> 
less than 15 minutes for me, so that's why I'm only looking up briefly certain things, so. Yeah. Awesome. Is it time? Yes. Oh my god. Story time! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you always love a good story? <sighs> I just love it when the words pop up. <laughs> <laughs> that cry. part. I feel magical. So, I have a lovely story about, um, <clears throat> Me and just my life. <laughs> How funny things happen and then you should just take them uh, for as they are and just laugh at them and, and, and don't beat yourself up. So we have a cafeteria at work. So um, this particular day they had brisket and it didn't look like, it was supposed to be smoked brisket, but it was wet. Like why it was wet. <laughs> so, Got that extra. No, I don't, I don't understand. Like did you smoke it until it started sweating? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm just, I don't get it. So I didn't get that. So I got coleslaw, and I had this lemon massaged kale. That was the sign on the little bar. Lemon massage. I know, and that's why I was like, "How did you massage the kale with lemon?" <laughs> Do you touch? Okay. Anyway, so I got the lemon massage kale, and I was like, "You know what?" I and I tasted the coleslaw, and it was a little sweet. So I was like, "I'm gonna cut it with some balsamic vinegar." Quick note: if you don't like the sweetness in your coleslaw, balsamic vinegar is a great way to cut some of that sugar. Um, and you don't add any significant calories. So, um, for, for our health nuts out there. Okay. So I went to get the balsamic vinegar, which is in this like carafe type thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but it was cold and it was like sweating. So I like pinched, this is, you know, you know, how you grab things. And so I grabbed it and I had the boat. It's a boat. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I pinched to pour. But then the thing came out of my hand and then it hit the lip of the boat. Now at the same time my face is like oh and then it hits the lip of the boat and I'm going to tell y'all something. Physics is real. Okay? You should pay attention in your physics class. Gravity. And I'm what? So it hits the lip of the boat just so happens to be the side that the cow is on. Um, and so, as it hits the kale, catapults <laughs> to my left. <laughs> Normally, that wouldn't be a problem, and I just would have left it, you know, let it fall where it lay. But there was a person <laughs> right here. A human. Yeah, yeah, and he was minding his business, as people do. Just making his salad. And so now there's, there's kale aggressively flying <laughs> towards his face. So I was like, oh no! At which point I dropped the boat. Which had coleslaw in it. <laughs> Once again, physics did not fail me. <laughs> Hit the counter. Now coleslaw explodes <laughs> into the air. To which point he is now looking at me saying, oh no, don't do that. <laughs> To which point I was like, uh, it's in the air, it's already happening. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> so I like shoot my hand out to block his face from the kale. And then I get like kale and coleslaw all over me. Then the balsamic vinegar hits the floor. <laughs> Rolls. <laughs> now there's a trail. <laughs> balsamic <laughs> vinegar and a nice perfect arc around the the salad bar, <laughs> across from the salad bar, it gets worse, it is one of the workers of the cafeteria who is now mean mugging me. <laughs> like, you have fun. I could see it. I saw it in her eyes. To which all I could do, because I'm almost in tears at this point, and I'm like, I'm sick, I'm sick, <laughs> I'm so, like literally, this was my. I was so, so, as it was the salt and vinegar and cost all over. I was like, I need my napkin. And so I go get a nap. So I felt so bad that I was like, let me clean up the bar. <laughs> so I like get a little soup bowl and a little napkins and I wipe off the bar. So um, I get a bowl and I like clean up the little bar. And I go throw it away. A little trash can. But I didn't look at the trash can. I just kind of like tossed it into the trash can. 
trash can was full. <laughs> and once again, physics <laughs> did not fail me. <laughs> that ball hit the top. Now that trash can was just like a flat boat that someone had overturned into it. And it popped up. And now the cow has spilt again. <laughs> right beside the trash can. But here's the funny part because the universe never fails. The bowl stayed in the trash can. <laughs> I can't make this up. So okay. So now I'm standing there like <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> what do you do? I just remade my salad and I left. Sometimes you're a winner. All the time. And sometimes everything you do fails. And it's okay. You just sure you gotta off. push on. Remake your salad and move on. I want you to also know that I dropped that salad again. <laughs> oh my god! It was not meant for you to have some greens. Oh, the kill was very good though. Once I, um, uh, once I finally ate it. It was so. a tension massage down. <laughs> it was a. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I'm just, like, I'm literally sorry. <laughs> I know, I'm hot, I'm hot, I'm still Okay. But that's my story time. So, I and like, sometimes things happen, guys. You just gotta like, take it in stride. You gotta laugh at it. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> you know, after the fact. I mean, like, I was mortified in the moment. But uh, after the fact, I thought it was very hilarious. You just gotta take it in stride and laugh and, and love yourself, guys. Because life is short. Plus, you should tell people about these things. Because they could be funny. Alright. That's my story time. <laughs> yes, it's, yes. Ah, uh, well that was great. I was like, I don't have any stories like that. <laughs> Mine involved being in public and doing weird stuff. Well, I guess I do have stories like that. <laughs> Sometimes you fart. It's okay. Ooh. <laughs> I'm allergic to Walmart, so don't. <laughs> oh, that's another story. Uh, another yes, it is. Oh, great conversation today. Yeah. Yes. Well, until next week, I'm Brock. I'm Rafi. Go out and converse with, with your, your besties. besties. <laughs>